Hey guys, and welcome back to another Element video tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to do a keyboard split with the current GUI, how it is. Um, I already have a graph set up here with two samplers uh, feeding into a RoboVerb and going to the audio output right here. So in order to do this, uh, you have to use the MIDI uh, panel over here. And so let's get our sampler, the first sampler, and you use the key start and the key end uh, options over here in the MIDI panel. So on the first sampler, I'm going to cut it off at, let's say, oh, C2. And then on the second sampler, we'll do key start, starting at the very next note, which would be C sharp 2 and uh, stretch extend it all the way out to the end of the keyboard. So just to kind of review what I'm doing here, the first sampler, it starts all the way at the lowest key and then it ends at C2. So up to this right here in the virtual keyboard. And then on the second sampler, we're starting at C sharp and going all the way out to the, to the end of the, uh, the range. Okay, so let's see this in action. When I play notes on this side of the keyboard here, you can see that only the first sampler is being triggered. And then when I play on this side of the keyboard, the other sampler is triggered. So that's the, that's the basics of it. You just set the key range on one node, set the key range on the other node, and then have at it. And also, I just want to note that this is kind of basic right now, but it is in the works to get a, a more specific key zone editor um, GUI, specific GUI just for doing keyboard splitting. But for right now, this, this gets the job done, and that's how you do it in the pre 1.0 element. Thanks, guys, for watching this video. I hope it was useful and uh, kind of ex explain how the keyboard splits work at this point in time. So uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below or hit us up and support. Peace out.